B, and today we're gonna talk about the Lay machine from Hackbox. Uh, Lay is a very straightforward machine, very easy. Uh, it's Linux based, so uh, yeah, we're gonna jump into it. All right, so uh, running the in map, uh, I saved the output here. So as you can see, usually I run nmap minus p minus tip first, and then I run nmap minus p minus minus a. So I have all the possible version scans on the uh, IP, which in our case is 10, 10, 10, 3, and save the output in a TXT file. So I save it, in this case, I saved it nmap.txt. All right, so as you can see, we have five active, uh, five open ports, uh, 21, 22, 139, 445, and 3632. All right. Uh, on port 21, we have FTP, and it says that anonymous FTP login is allowed. All right, so first we're gonna check it to see if there's any if there's any files in there. All right, so for anonymous login, you must uh, you must provide a username, which is in our case was anonymous. Uh, no, in every case it's anonymous, if it's anonymous FTP login, sorry. And you can put any password or just whatever. Alright. Uh, so we're gonna list the FTP. Okay, so there's nothing in here. Alright, so we can exit because we don't need it anymore. Alright, next. Um, so how I did it first, I've used uh, this CCD exploit uh, so on MSF console uh, on MSF console there is a module for this CCD you can find it using search this CCD alright let's let me show you how it works so we use you say use and the number of the exploit which in our case is use zero because yeah use zero uh, show options or simply options we want to save the we want to set the air hosts uh, to 10 10 10 3 because in our case this is the IP of the machine 10 10 10 3 all right and we're gonna run it all right the exploit seems to work yeah we have shell we have a reverse shell let's see yeah it works okay so uh, if you get a reverse shell using MSF console, usually you must uh, say shell in order to get like a cleaner shell. But I prefer uh, the bash one. So yeah. So using who am I? I saw that I'm only I'm so I'm user daemon. So there's like limited uh, limited access to it. So uh, I just went to home to to get a user flag. No, it's not here. It's, it's yeah, it's here. So this is the user flag. Yeah, um, and surprisingly enough, I saw that I can also go to root, which usually shouldn't happen. And you can, as you can see, there's a root that txt file. All right. So after searching more through it, um, I found I. At first, I thought it's something related to the. Linux version uh, 2.6.24 uh, uh, but there were there are some exploits but in this case it wasn't working so what I did is I took I took a look on the because usually in hack the box some boxes have like the either the lane either the name or the the picture of the box itself uh, has references to the services or to an exploit and in this case it seems like there's a lady samba in samba clothing okay so I, i've searched the samba version which in our case is 3.0.20 uh, i've searched it using search exploit yeah as you can see there's an exploit called yeah it's unix remote uh, like that 
and if we search it up 3.0.20 Samba MSF All right, we can see that there's a, there's also a MSF module for our exploit. So we just go back to the we say background back sorry background no yeah uh, like that and we select the we we we, we search for the version so 3.0.20 and we see that there's a uh, the exploit called you uh, exploit multi samba user map script okay so we say use one because one is the number of the exploit all right we look for options uh we again set the error host to 10 10 10 uh, point, uh three and then we run it so uh, uh usual uh, sometimes it doesn't work from the first try so you have to run it two times it just says that the exploit worked but no no shell was created in our case yeah it works okay so again we, sh we say shelf to get a, a cleaner shell from it exploit all right it worked bin slash bin slash bash and we are root so um, yeah this is the, this is this was the easiest way uh, using the MSF module uh, all right so now I'm gonna present the second part which is using the CVE all right so after searching uh, after searching uh, through the internet for finding another way of solving the of solving the box I found the CVE CVE 2007 2447 which uh, there's yeah there's a github page about it from user um, AMR I Unix all right so um, I downloaded the, the script yeah let me Let me get it on the this on the folder as well. All right, so we download it. If you haven't already, you must install the uh, Python library py smb for Samba. All right, we go into the folder called CVE two thousand seven to and we run the Python script. So it says Python user map error host, which is remote host. In our case, it's 10, 10, 10, 3. And uh, remote port, which is 139, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let me see. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's 139, okay. Or is it? No, it's 445. Four four five. Yeah. Okay. And uh, the L host is if config grab ten ten. The our our IP in I mean in my case it's ten ten fourteen eight ten ten fourteen eight and the port will be three 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 three. Okay, so we say use uh, multi uh, slash handler. Oh, sorry, use multi handler like this. All right, and we set a payload to Linux uh, x86 uh, shell and reverse TCP like that. Okay, and uh, we. We want to see the options. The options are yeah, we need the L host, which in our case is the our local IP, uh, our VPN IP, 10, 10, 14, 8. 10, 10, 14, 8. And we set the L host to the L port to uh let's say two 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 two. Okay. We run it like that. And we're gonna change it here to two 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 two. 
like this okay yeah so uh, we run the script uh, Python user map a script uh, the uh, remote IP the remote port our local IP the VPN IP and the lo the local port and uh, we also set the same here so as you can see yeah we have a shell let me get it clear Yeah, okay, I think it crashed. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just run it again. Okay, so we run it on to do one 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 like that. Oh shit. Yeah, we, we have to set the L port first, one 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 one. And now we run it like that. Okay. Oh shit, I forgot to run. Okay. Okay, so finally we run the script and it worked. All right. So as you can see, we also we are root as well as uh, it's kind of the exact exploit as the MSF module. But this is uh, in the case in the case you don't want to use. Of course, it, this is an easy box, so you don't want to use the you don't want to use your uh, meta exploit. Your meta exploit, uh, exp meta exploit, exploit on this box. You just want to see. Uh, you just want to search for uh, an online script for it. For it. So this is this is the way to do it. So I presented the first the first way through meta exploit and the second way through a uh, uh, Python exploit. I'm gonna post both of these ways uh, and both of the, these modules on the description below. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, thank you for watching and hopefully I'm going to continue this series and I'm going to see you next time. Peace.